she's a good writer, by good writer, someone who writes, who consistently writes. She's written, you know, two, what, 100,000 books, word books? Yeah, she's written 200, two 100,000 word books, and like, along with editing, probably more, but that's what's been produced, you know, so she, she can write prolifically, and being practiced in that sense, that's what makes a good writer somebody who's willing to develop that skill a lot of these people a lot of like writers like 10 years into from writing start to see results even brandon sanderson i think he didn't publish until he, 11 years after he started writing seven, seven years after he started writing so almost 10. you know brandon sanderson's a great writer He talks about how his wife was a teacher and he was writing, and like, I was just like, yeah, <laughs> see? It takes time, and then look at that, 10 years from now, we'll see where she's at. She's grown a lot in a year. Oh yeah, th there's no return. Oh yeah. But it, as far as like uh, hobbies go, it is kind of like the most cost effective, easy way, like very accessible, very, yeah, I mean, a good day for her. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, like a good day for her is Writing all day, you know, sitting down, and she can have fun with it. So I, I think more on that note is like that enjoyment. You know, you'll see a return and a little bit more fulfillment. Oh yeah, no, no, and definitely like you, we see people that are like that. Especially, and and they have a tendency to be writing whatever's hot right now, you know, like whatever kind of sells, and it's just like, and they're almost like these publish their own publicists. They're like they're pushy, and you know, like there's even one guy who. Let's go down here. Let's explore this way. Some good stuff. There's one guy who like was like pushing company even, and like was trying to get salmon on it. And, you know, he, he I kind of actually like put her on the website without even asking if like if she had to ask to be taken off. She's like, oh, that's not comfortable. She wasn't comfortable with it, and I think he put her as a young fiction writer. That kind of pissed her off too, because he had never read any of her stuff. She's better. Um, She's trying to add me to the Google Classroom. It's not working. She sent me an invite. And I was just like, it's not working. It's not, nothing's popping up. And then she didn't respond back. But she wants me to do some stuff and make some stuff for one specific student. It's kind of a higher level. He can use technology. Easy. Uh, some stuff for reading and math. And I could totally do a video or, or something for him. But I need to get on that Google Classroom and... I've had so much trouble getting onto those meetings. I don't get the permission. My permission gets denied, and I'll sit there for like 15 minutes before, 15 minutes after waiting. But yeah, this is kind of shitty. It, it, that's what I mean. And then I, so I kind of was like questioning that too because um, I like. And her technical understanding is pretty bad. Like, I, she doesn't know some basic stuff on trying to print stuff out from the unique website. She just got completely lost and didn't know how to print a PDF. And she kind of like afterwards, she's like, "I know how to do that. I just don't know what happened." Well, I was just like, "Okay, <laughs> like, but you did it." So like, I, I told her kind of like, because she was emailing me through my uh, my NMSU account, which is Outlook, and I told her. Beforehand, I was like, you know, I heard, I heard that we have to make a classroom. This is my Gmail account, and I had sent it to her. 
And so she sent me the invite to the Google Classroom in my Outlook account. So when I click on it and log in, it asks me to use my Gmail account. And I'm thinking because she had sent it to the Dave 1928 at an MSU, and since I was using the Google, it just didn't let me in. So I had sent the email again to her. I was like, I'm using, like, you know, can you try sending it through this email? She never responded. So I, we'll see. I, uh, yeah, I do actually. I have a phone number. Should I just call her? <laughs> Round two, beginning ring countdown. Sure, we're already in the ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk her through it, because it's. Then yesterday I was gonna try, but I was like, "Oh wait, it's Good Friday." I forgot. Definitely I've seen religious posters. Jesus, keep me safe. are pretty close. Yeah, let's wait till we can third party. Well, there's only two. I guess. His friend to come. Yeah. Got him. I shot him. Yeah. The only problem is he's on top of that fucking building. I don't know how to get up there. No, he, he, his body's right there. His death box. He was just sitting there. He couldn't tell where I was shooting from, so he just kind of died. I think. I think there is. Hold on. I'm going through here. If you open up the door. I got up here. I had to climb like. There's an Evo shield. Level two. Yeah, I see him. Six go oh, God. Six squads total. Backing out of my drone. I'm good to go. Marking off surroundings. My drone has been destroyed. Yeah, if you want. I'm up here. Bad guys, behind us. I'm firing. In the tunnel. Yeah, you got EMP. That's it. Right here. 
behind us. Only problem is marking our surroundings. I know. You better run to that tunnel. Shield right there. Technically, creative velocity is ninety-five thousand. Huh? Technically, one of them is ninety-five thousand. One is ninety-five thousand. That's a lot. It's still a hundred thousand. If you round up, there's a jump. Right here. <laughs> so we jump on top of this building. Inside. Backing out of my drone. Oh, Critical. I got a fresh footprint. Someone traveled through here. I hear open doors. Someone traveled through here. Yeah, this is fresh. I'm gonna wait right here for you. Alright. Someone traveled through here. I hear him fighting. They went this way. Yeah, I hear him fighting over there. Let's go. Tag him if you see him. This way. I hear the zip line. I thought he sees me. I'm down. 